What's up, crew? It's Ralph. And Nathan. Back with r and Lawn Care. Gonna go over a little bit of our equipment, as you can see today. Uh, do a 2018 setup. Uh, we're gonna include the trailers, trucks, and all that in it. I know it's been a long time. Everybody wanted to see Nathan's truck before, but uh, we'll get it in there for you today. So I'm gonna pick up the GoPro and uh, let Nathan tell you a little bit. <laughs> We're going to start over here. We'll start with the big stuff and go down to the little stuff. Nathan will tell you a little bit about it. First, we're going to start off with the Troy belt that y'all seen the other day. Yeah, here it is, guys. This is the Troy belt. It's got the Honda motor, 160cc, bag or mulch. I usually always mulch. I just got the bag on it right now. But uh, it's been a good little mower. Y'all saw Ralph do a little fixing on it. Needed a little update. Lord but, uh, this is a new piece of equipment I just picked up. Uh, Last week, I guess it was, this is the Skag SWZT 52 inch electric start. Um, love this machine so far. Uh, we needed some stuff for some hills and another, add another piece of equipment for one of uh, our new guys, a guy that's with me, you all have not seen yet. Um, but maybe we'll introduce you to him pretty soon. His name's Chad. Heck of a worker. He, uh, you all know that we're running two crews this year. So he's with me, his name's Chad. And uh, this is kind of going to be his mower once he gets to be uh, efficient with it. He's working on it right now. He's doing great so far. Heck of a worker, heck of a guy. Particular death to have him. Uh -huh. But anyway, uh, that is the 52-inch electric start. And this is, uh, which they're all dirty right now. We didn't clean them up and do the video because we're just too busy doing cleaning, to be honest with you. But uh, this is the one of the Tiger Cat 2s. This one's mine. 52 inch deck <laughs> I have 52 okay. of ours mine you can tell Kawasaki, I use it. <laughs> Kawasaki motor of course on both of them uh, X series FX series I did have the grass flap installed on mine just a few weeks ago because um, I'm doing a few properties that I'm pretty well couldn't really do it efficiently without it because of the different flower beds they have and different things so I added that to mine. And this is the other Tiger Cat 2. Same motor, the FX series, Kawasaki. Yeah, on that and crew, I couldn't mow half of my properties without my bungee strap. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same thing, 52 inch cut as well. <clears throat> this is the old fateful throwaway mower, as I always call it. The 33 Craftsman, 33 inch wide cut mower. It gets us into some little small gates in the backyard so that's the truth in with. it helps out it's a handy little thing it does its job yeah, i love this little mower love it that mixed with that tiger cat i could about do any property except for a side of a hill <laughs> <laughs> well a steep hill that's wet i should say all right all to the smaller stuff this is our husqvarna stick edger Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're going to let one of our employees use that this year that's uh, edging with a weed eater. It's the 323E Husqvarna stick edger. Of course, everybody knows I've got the Echo 280T uh, weed eater and uh, the FS90R weed eater. Also, the Echo uh, HC152 hedge trimmer that needs to be sharpened. But, uh, of course... <coughs> Excuse me, I've been sick a little bit here lately. Everybody knows about the Ego backpack blower we used last year. It's went into the little rounds when it's dry, actually, to uh, start blowing off stuff because it's a little bit lighter than the BR600 that I have. And then I'll let Nathan take you on through the rest of this. Yeah, that's the, the Steel BX BR600, if I can talk today. That's Ralph's set. Uh, that's a good blower. Then we've got our BR700 steel then we move on we've got the handheld i think it's a bg86 yeah it's a bg86 yeah. bg86 i keep it with me just to blow off small little places it's quicker to grab than having to get out the backpack blower it's still doing well we've had it now i don't know three years or so oh yeah three four Moving years on, i've got uh this is a steel fs90r that's the old one it's been with us about three years um this yeah. is the 91, correct? Yeah, this is the, yeah. the new 91. If you can see the numbers on this thing here. Let me get you down there. They didn't change them a whole lot. 
Just a few things. It just made it a little bit more ergonomic for you. And that's the hedge trimmer, the HS45 steel hedge trimmer. I think it's, uh, what was it, an 18-inch bar? I think so. 18 or 16. I can't remember it right offhand. I think it's an 18. I know it's at least an 18. 18-inch bar on it. Uh, this is the 20-inch, I think 20 or 22. I can't remember. But anyway, it's the hedge trimmer attachment that goes on the trimmers. It's uh, 360 degrees articulating. <coughs> you can turn it different angles. And this is the trim saw attachment, steel trim saw attachment. I think it's a 10 or 12 inch blade that goes on the trimmers as well. Reach up a little bit. Then my steel MS-170 little trim chainsaw we have for just little jobs when we got to do a little a little bit of tree trimming. Yeah, I didn't bring mine with me today, so that happens. You leave stuff behind every once in a while. But uh, let's go over the trucks real quick. Don't want to take up a whole lot of time with this video because our setup's just We've not changed a whole lot. We've just added a whole lot to it. Uh, we'll start back here with Nathan's trailer. It's a, uh, is it 14 or 16? I can't remember. 16 foot tandem. 16 foot tandem trailer. Six and a half wide. Six and a half wide. Uh, of course, them 3,500 pound axles, correct? Yeah. I'll make sure I'm telling everybody you're out. Uh, 3,500 pound axles. Actually, you've had this in for two and a half years? Yeah. Two and a half. Eight ply tires on it because <clears> the others weren't lasting. Yeah. Uh, as you've seen in the last video, uh, put some equipment, defender, uh, gas can racks, uh, the old trusty over a year old uh, weed eater racks. Of course, I've took mine off and took them to my trailer, but I'm going to update those pretty soon. The year old uh, backpack black, backpack rack. <laughs> so I got three times faster, but the backpack rack by equipment <laughs> defender <laughs> he didn't say it three times uh we still got to pack them uh, help me out here water now can water can holder which uh, the water's on water, top water, of it there water. and uh he got the line spool holder from equipment defender yeah yeah all by equipment defender uh packums is on there uh we bought them lord we bought that four years ago just had to replace the straps on that thing the straps that come with it lasted about a year uh but that's his trailer that everything goes on of course you got the come on that as well i'm gonna add a few more things oh yeah yeah it's a coming though ain't it yeah it's coming yeah Hold tell on. me about this truck here everybody likes that truck this is a nasty filthy 2016 gmc it really needs to be cleaned up yeah it's a 2016 gmc sierra 1500 it's had just a level kit wheels and tires put on it 5.3 v8 nice nice you've had this in what two years now too ain't you or just a year about a year and a half look at that big old gmc symbol all right mine's a 2007 chevy silverado 1500 of course uh got a uh, level lift on it got the 20 inch factory rims with the uh terra grapplers g2s love them tires i tell you uh, things older than Methuselah it feels like sometimes, but she gets a job done and I love it to death uh, Of course everybody seen my trailer video now got this uh, forest river uh, Trailer 16 7 by 16 tandem axle 3,500 pound weights uh, Gonna actually do some updating to the inside of it today with Nathan if he's willing to help me of course, y'all seen the inside of it. There's the equipment defenders, but they're about to get replaced with uh, something that's in that box right there. So uh, that'll be coming soon. Uh, gonna actually update just a few little things, nothing major, but make it look pretty decent. I ain't seen the new gear. No. The new hats. The new hats. The new hats yeah. with your mom pulling in there. But anyway, sorry about that, the battery went dead. <laughs> But anyhow, we're going to piddle around with this stuff. Uh, of course, you already seen Nathan's new uh, gas can racks. I think it was pretty cool. Uh, all kinds of different stuff out there to haul you equipment and things. But there's the back side of that. Let's walk back here and show you real quick, see if we can get the trucks and, the, and all this stuff in the, in the camera shot. Yeah, we've got Leonard in there. Well, not his trailer. Hold on. Got about 
we'll have to split the trailers about right there there we go that's a lot of stuff Bob I feel pretty good about it and going into the fourth year I believe what it is fourth or fifth year fourth fifth is it fifth I can't keep up with it any. I'm getting too old I don't know what he's gonna do when he gets my age just gonna fall apart <laughs> we, got, we got new hats and shirts Oh, These yeah. are our new polos. We I just forgot about that. When we're doing estimates, I had three estimates to do today. So, embroidery and everything. Yeah, That's official right there now. All the guys are all wearing these hats. Yeah. You know, we got the bright green. You can see where everybody's at. Yeah, look at that. You can see them from way back here. You can see where everybody's <laughs> out on the on the property. You can yeah. tell who's who. And... Definitely. I mean, we got we got me, Nathan, Pump and chad which we ain't come up with a nickname for chad i might call him the pouncing weasel or something i don't pouncing know weasel. <laughs> something we can't take walrus walrus is already took yeah. so but uh there's our setup for 2018 uh pretty much you know we add and take things away i know nathan don't carry his chainsaw all the time or his head trimmers i don't either uh pretty much blowers we carry all the time I might end up carrying all my stuff because I've got the enclosed and I use that pretty much for an outbuilding for all my stuff anyway. But uh, anyway, crew, we appreciate y'all stopping by. Of course, you know, with old Nathan here. And uh, if you watch our videos, you're 50% more attractive like I am. <laughs> so you missed that laugh, ain't you? <laughs> if you uh, watch and subscribe to our videos, you're 100% more attractive like this old fella over here now. Wild as a buck. But we'll catch y'all out there uh, putting y'all's equipment together, taking pictures and sending it out and showing everybody. We'll catch y'all later.